Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonincourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to use the new color profiles in Adobe Lightroom CC version 7.3 which came out in April of 2018. So let's head over to Lightroom and we'll take a look at what we can do with these profiles. So first of all, Lightroom wants us to have sort of a top-down kind of workflow when we're in the develop module. On the right side, you'll see that uh, it asks first, do you want to color a black and white image? And then right away, they have moved the profiles up here to the top. They used to be down in the uh, calibration section. Um, and all of your profile information, you could switch from one camera to another. Um, or one color profile for your camera to another. Or to the Adobe's color profiles. But we don't need that anymore because they've updated it and they've moved it up here to the top and you can choose it from this drop down list and you can see here a bunch from adobe like adobe color adobe landscape portrait standard vivid etc and then camera landscape portraits etc but it's it's more interesting to see it if you click on this little grid because now you can see little previews of what this will look like. So here are the new uh, Adobe Camera Raw profiles and yes they only work with raw files and if you were to hover over it you can see it will change the color in the picture that that I have up on the screen. So uh, we started with Adobe Color then Monochrome now this is Adobe Landscape and then Neutral and you can see the colors are shifting as I go from one image to another. But you have to realize this is not like a preset. It's not changing all of your sliders or any effects that you may have made. This is just adjusting color and it is not affecting any adjustments that you may have made in the develop module. So besides Adobe Color or Adobe Raw, uh, there is also the camera matching profile. So, this is going to be different for everyone. If you have a different camera, you'll see different profiles. I have here some Canon profiles like Faithful and Landscape and Neutral, Standard and Monochrome, etc. And so these will be maybe a little more bit well suited for your camera. And you may also notice that there are little stars in the upper right hand corner of each one of these profiles. And if you like one and you plan on using it a lot, if you click the little star, it will add it up here to the favorites. So here are all the profiles that you have favorited. And if there's one you don't like, you can always click the star and it'll take it out of the favorites. Another thing you should know is that right now it's in grid view. That's why I'm seeing these little boxes. But you could also see it in large view we get a little bit bigger representation of what that color profile is going to do or we could see it in list view and no matter which view you choose as you roll over them they will show the color on the picture that you have on your screen I'm gonna go back to grid view alright now below this line this is where things get interesting now it's not just the basic color corrections for your camera. Now we have some artistic color corrections that drastically change the colors, maybe not necessarily in a scientific way, but in an artistic way. And if you click on it, of course, it'll apply that profile. Here's where it gets really interesting. You don't have to accept what they give you. One problem with Lightroom presets is when you pick a preset and you click on it, it applies everything the way it was given to you uh, at full strength. With these new color profiles, there's an amount slider. So you could actually increase the profile or you could decrease the effect. And that's really powerful because sometimes the effect may be too strong and you just need to take it down a little bit and the results will be much better. So that is a powerful new addition here, the ability to use these artistic profiles with a, a slider to reduce or increase the amount of the effect. Besides artistic, there are others. And 
Um, there is modern. And vintage. And so you can create all kinds of interesting effects by playing around with these different color profiles. It gives you a good starting place. And you can also download profiles from a third party. Or you can make your own using Photoshop, creating LUTs and then importing them into Lightroom. Here are some from Matt K. You can get some free samples from uh, Matt on his website, uh, mattkleskowski.com. And you can download and install them and test them out. But basically, these profiles are going to get you started with getting your color in the right starting place. And then you can move on and make your regular adjustments to your image. So give that a try. I think it'll be interesting and possibly very useful. And so let me know what you think in the comments. Also, please subscribe and click the little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. So thank you. And again, this has been Gary Tonicourt from more than a snapshot.com.